Hi guys, welcome back to Silver Fox Survival. Um, today we're going to be doing a, a little test on different um, fire starting capabilities. And uh, they sell a lot of fire starters online and everything. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Uh, and uh, so what I wanted to do is I thought it'd be interesting to do a comparison test and see what works best. And the reason I'm so interested is because I make my own fire starter. This is Fox Fire from Silver Fox Survival. And you can pick this up at my Etsy store at the link below, okay? And today we're gonna to be taking the burn test, all right? And we're gonna be doing a test of my, my homemade fire starter with my proprietary formula, all right? And we're gonna be putting that up against, what are these called? Fire plugs from Bigfoot Bushcraft, all right? And uh, I'll provide a link to those as well. I think that's just only fair. Um, but today we're gonna take the Pepsi challenge and we're gonna see how they both work. All right, so let me get comfy here. And as always, safety first. I'm on gravel here and I have a, a, a brick. I got water right here nearby. Everything's, uh, we're doing it all above board with the safety. Um, now, we have uh, this little guy. I'm, I never used these before. Uh, I just bought them because I just wanted to do comparison and I thought it'd be interesting. They look like little little tampons. It's what they look like. Uh, and uh, it says that you split it down the middle. Let's see how easy that is. Expose the fibers. Alright. Which is pretty similar to mine. Alright. So there we go. Uh, this is mine. This is Foxfire. Yeah, I know. It doesn't look very impressive, does it? But what's interesting about Foxfire is that I have found uh, an ingenious way to lower the ignition temperature of organic materials. And what this does is it makes a superior fire starter that starts with just a spark and burns for a long time. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sit back, I'm gonna prepare these, and we're going to light them. And, and mine works a lot like this. You just take it, break it apart, you wanna expose the fibers that are inside, okay? And then we're gonna strike each one of these with a ferro rod, get these out of the way. And then we're gonna time it, watch them burn, and see how they do, okay? And because I'm a good sport, and I wanna give uh, Bigfoot Bushcraft uh, a fair chance and a fair comparison, I'll light mine first, because I'm a good sport, okay? So here we go. And they both light very easily. That's good. Um, these are small uh, compared to mine um, and, and fire making and other things. Size matters, I think. Uh, I think that uh, my prediction is that mine is going to burn for much longer and with a much bigger flame. And that seems to be the case so far. And I'm not trying to knock anybody down. I just want to compare things um, because I want to know that I'm making and selling an extremely good product. And the way you do that is by putting yourself up against other folks who are doing it too. And uh, so that's my goal. So I'm going to step back. I'm going to uh, let the camera go ahead and capture the action. And let's see what happens, okay? See you in a bit. Don't cut. Let it go. There you go. Now, I'm off camera now, but I just want to say, as an added note, 
you'll notice that there's quite a bit of smoke coming off of both of these and that is the nature of fire starters just so you know there's no biodegradable you know vegan friendly uh, gluten free fire starters this is about keeping you alive not a, we're, we're not trying to save the planet we're trying to save you bear that in mind so yes they throw off a little bit of black smoke um, but if you are starting a fire you're not using these solely for the fire itself and uh, the fire will consume these fumes and there they won't even be noticeable they won't exist because the fire will will use them as fuel and burn Now it says on the back of the package uh, for these fire plugs that they have a five minute burn time, which that's not that's not bad. Um, I try to go to the extreme lengths with my fire starters and I want mine to burn at least twice that long. I think you can see right now the, the one on the right, uh, the fire plug, uh, seems to be kind of petering out already. Um, it seems to be struggling to stay lit after only a couple of minutes, but if you notice, Fox Fire is still going strong. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, my twigs are still wet. Wait, no. Please, fire plug. Don't let me down. Oh, come on. Hang in there. Hang in there. And it's out. So, Foxfire is still going. We'll see how much longer it goes. I do have a test video that you can go watch on the same channel here where I actually show that these burn on top of snow for 10, 11 minutes at a time. Um, on top of a brick, maybe different circumstances, but still, we need to see. And there goes mine. Oh, yep. Nope. Still going. Still going. And the thing about mine is that this is all burned up. This is done. There is literally nothing left of it. Mine, you flip it over and it just keeps on burning. Look at that. So in the battle of Foxfire versus fire plugs, Foxfire wins. And she's out. So there's a real life comparison in the outdoors and you see, now that's, that's used up now, that's good. And this one was ash minutes ago. So, like I said, safety first. Put these out, make sure there's no chance of any fire, no sparks, no nothing. But there you go. When it comes to survival, minutes matter. Seconds matter. Your choices for preparation matter. These aren't bad. Um, 
but they don't burn as long and they don't burn as big and those are the two things you want in a fire starter big burn long burn that's what you want because you can be in any condition and you may not be able to sit there and and keep relighting you need to be able to do it right the first time and if you want to do it right the first time I got to tell you hands down it's Foxfire thanks for your time thanks for watching the video please like please subscribe check me out on Instagram follow me on Facebook uh, go to my Etsy store follow me at the link below you can check out Silver Fox Survival on Etsy and I'll see you next time this is me saying Silver Fox